Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. My name is Andras. I'm Masha. Today we're going to be comparing two different binoculars configuration, 7x42 and 8x42. Now these appear almost similar at first sight. Um, their only difference is in magnification. Yeah. But uh, people often can decide between the two, so we're here to help them. Help them. Uh, Masha, can we start with some general features of the 7x42? Yeah, so 7x42 are, are quite rare on the market uh, today. We had more of them in the past, uh, but nowadays they are used only by hunters. Um, they have this traditional look um, most of the time. Yeah, because the poor prism, yeah. typically they're poor prism binoculars yes. nowadays at least. Yeah, so we don't have many um, roof prisms here in 7x42. Uh, so yeah, basically they are meant only for hunting. Yeah. Uh, what do we gain with 7 power magnification? With 7 power magnification we gain a few things. So we gain a wider field of view, at least when we compare to modern, I would say modern binoculars from same primes class. Yeah. The seven times magnification should be uh, wider, should provide a wider field of view in theory. Yeah. Then they, the seven by 42 provides a seven, six millimeter exit pupil, whereas the eight by 42 provides 5.25. So smaller. Smaller exit yeah. pupil. In theory, brighter image on the seven by 42, but we also have to keep in mind that the brightness of the image uh, depends also on the coatings. Yeah. So if we have two binoculars in the same price class, 7x42 will provide a brighter image. Also the handshaking is a little bit less noticeable. Uh, it's easier to stabilize them because 7 times magnification, the image will not be as shaky as yeah. with 8 times. The difference is minimal, but still the 7 times wins in this aspect. Okay, what about the 8x42? What are some general features of it? Yeah, so 8 by 42 binoculars are meant for all types of observations. We call them all-round binoculars because yeah. they are meant for all types of uses. Uh, they are standard standard configuration. Uh, there, the conf this configuration is on the market. It's really wide competition. Yeah, almost every optics manufacturer yeah. has at least one 8 by 42 binocular in their offer, right? Yeah. So we mostly find uh, roof prisms here. So no, I, I would say a few models have poor prisms. Only or, a few, yeah. Or in the past, uh, there were more of them. Uh, we also have a buying guide on 8x42 uh, configuration binoculars. So be sure to check that out. And Andras, what do we gain with 8 power magnification? Okay, in comparison, as I said, we have a narrower field of view here, but we do gain more details of the image. Yeah. Uh, with, with the exit pupil, as I said, the, if they're from the same price class, the image will not be as bright on the 8x42 as with 7x42. Mm -hmm. Also the handshaking a little bit more noticeable on the 8, uh, yeah. although on the 8 it's still pretty simple to stabilize it in comparison to 10, 12, 15 times magnification. Yeah. Um, so this is basically it. Here you have more details, a narrower field of view, wider field of view, but less details. Yeah fewer details. Okay, um, so when would you go for 7x42, when would you go for 8x42? Maybe I'd say that go for 7x42 if you're a hunter, if yeah. you like traditional style of your binoculars. Because they're mostly available in the poor prism design nowadays, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So basically only for that. And yeah. if you like all other types of observations, so bird watching, traveling for usual type of use, go for 8 by 42 I would say that when deciding between the two, about 95% of our customers would go for the 8 by 42 yeah. Only yeah. those, maybe a little bit older hunters who prefer traditional yeah, look, exactly. because the 7 by 42 is available mostly in this shape right yeah. now. Uh, it does provide really solid images. Yeah, of course. Uh, but yeah, so this is probably the step forward in the future. Yeah. Well, this is a little bit More back. traditional, yeah. yeah. So we've probably <laughs> covered everything. So yeah. if you enjoy the video, like, subscribe, take a look at our 8x42 buying guide and see you next time. Take care. Bye.